afternoon. I'm going to make a quick lunch. And I got a whole lot to tell you about because it's my birthday month. So we got a lot of great things going on. I'll make a little bit of dish water over here. Hey everybody, please share the videos. It's good to see you. I haven't been on as much lately, but I will be back. So August is my birthday month along with a whole lot of other beautiful people. August is the bomb. Let me make sure I got on enough light in here. So what I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to prepare lunch. I'm going to try to get as many lives as I can in in the next week because I don't care if it's short might be a little short one just a little tip or a trick but I'm gonna try to get as many as I can in just to get back in the swing of things because I miss going live and um it's really fun so salmon today we're gonna make some uh, a low carb meal we're gonna do alfredo and zoodles I'm gonna use a zucchini and make noodles with the zucchini so what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to season up with salmon. And I'm using my little uh, cutting mats, which they also work nicely for prep mats because you can separate everything. Okay. Um, they protect your counter, give you a nice little defined workspace. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, Tony Saturies on the fish today. Just sprinkle a little bit on all the pieces and we'll flip them over and put a little bit on the back side too. That's it. Not a heavy seasoning because it's going to go in an Alfredo anyway. So the sauce is really going to be the star of the show. Um, I like to drizzle a little bit of oil on um, meats so that uh, the oil kind of helps everything to stick to it. Yep. Just um, just kind of get everything with a little bit of oil and a little bit of seasoning. And like I said, it just helps the seasoning to stick. So oil it, season it, and using the grill and griddle today. So the grill and griddle, this is our newest power tool for this season. And... The appliances are all on sale right now. So behind it, you see my air fryer. I use that a lot. But today, I'm going to use this grill and griddle. It opens up fully. It extends fully so that if you wanted to do... Um, if you wanted to do a hibachi, you can lay it completely down. It also comes with a smooth plate. Right now, I got my grill plates on. So I'm going to put it on the sear setting and press start so that it can start preheating. And it will let me know when it's hot enough for my sear setting and then I will put my fish on there. So I'm going to just stick these to the side right now. Do a little wipe up. Oh. It also um, gives you a chance to change how long. So I'm going to do two minutes and 30 seconds is how long I want to cook it. But I, I needed to preheat to 450 first. And then when it gets to 450, it's going to say add and I'll put the meat on. Don't forget to share. We're cooking a low carb Alfredo with zucchinis, with zoodles and salmon. All right. So what I'm going to use to make my zoodles. Zoodles. Sorry about that. I forgot to put it on Do Not Disturb. Let's see if I can do it right quick. I have to call everybody back right after I finish. It won't be long. There it is. Okay. Let's see. I have never seasoned the back of the salmon. Thanks for that tip. <laughs> I don't know why I do. I just feel like I'm supposed to do the front and the back. Hey, Carolyn. 
All right, so we're using the vegetable peeler set. We it, Three of them come with it, but this one, if you can see, it has those cross blades in there. So what it does, you slide this down the side of the zucchini, and it looked like it peeled off just one, but it, it those cross sections make the noodles, make the zoodles, because they're zucchini noodles. So if you've got like an overgrown zucchini, it's perfect for this. And you just slide straight down. And you want to keep going until you start to see the seed. And this is what I mean. When you start to see the seed like that, then you stop. And you turn it to the other side. And then you just go straight down. Got to get a good grip. And you just slice until you see seeds. And that's how you're going to get your uh, zoodles. So this is very quick. It doesn't take long at all. And like I said, sometimes people don't like to cook when the zucchini um, from the garden is like overgrown. Because sometimes you don't see them because the way they grow up under those leaves, you might not see it. You miss it. And then when you finally find it, it's huge. It's almost as big as your forearm. And um, some people don't like those. But this is what you end up with. That's just one um, zucchini. So depending on how many people you got to feed, you know, you got quite a bit right there. But it's those beautiful noodles. And it doesn't require a whole lot of cleanup. So this is the this is my favorite method. There are other um, tools that you can use to get the same results. Some of them are like um, spiralizers, where you kind of turn a crank, and it um, you know makes these beautiful ribbons. And just depending on what you need it for, you know, I perfectly like this method because it's quick and easy. These come with little safety. Put that back on there because they are very, very sharp. And it just snaps, the little safety thing just snaps on there. So we got our zoodles. And gonna heat up. This is the sexy pan. Now, y'all know how I feel about my sexy pan. The sexy pan, I'll let y'all see this. First of all, it's just designed so sleek, you know, there's no screws so you can easily clean it And then when you look right inside that edge Y'all it's almost like the thing got a lace garter belt on It is beautiful and it cooks so nicely because it's got a grid system that is non-stick But it allows the stainless to show through so that you can get the browning that you want to do sears on meats and that browning um, what is it called? Malliard reaction. It helps with your flavors. You need that. Okay, it's, it's getting there. So I'm put a little bit of oil in the pan, just a little bit. And as soon as we heat that up, we're going to put the noodles in to saute them. Now, you don't want to put salt in here with them. Because what will happen is if you salt them, the water starts coming out of the um, zucchini. And then you'll end up with a mushy mess. So we don't want a mushy mess. So we're just going to quickly saute them. And then we're going to set them to the side. Oh, y'all hear that sizzling? Yep. Look at there. Nice little workspace. Push all the zoodles in the pan. And we will season. We can season with our Italian seasoning. So this is the Pampered Chef Italian seasoning. Um, let's see. How much? You just want to sprinkle a little bit. You don't need a whole lot. Just sprinkle just a little bit. Just to kind of help with building the flavors. And I'm looking for my tongs. There we go. These are our pasta tongs. So they've got those nice little grippers on there. It helps to kind of pick everything up and move it around. So we're just going to 
season this a little bit just to cook it so it doesn't taste raw. But we're not going to leave it here long because we wanted to have a little texture to it when we get ready to put our sauce over top. All right, so we got a little beef on the grill. It says add. So now it's time to add that salmon. So it doesn't matter if it's skin side up or down because... This grill and griddle has dual control. Of, so both plates, the top and the bottom, are both heating up. So we put that in and press start. That is it. All right. And that's probably enough for the zoodles. Because we don't want them to get too mushy. So I'm gonna use our insulated bowl to keep them warm. It has a really nice gasket around the edge and it's got this little lip that allows you to sit on the side of the bowl to serve. So we're gonna go ahead. I, I love using this insulated bowl like for breakfast because one of the things I hate is when I cook breakfast, you call for everybody to come eat and they take their sweet time getting to the table and it's like, oh, I tried to time cooking those eggs perfect so nobody had to have cold eggs. Put them in your insulated bowl. As you can see, just that quickly, it's already um, holding my heat. All right, we only got one minute left on that fish. I probably should have waited to cook that. So we're gonna make some Alfredo. Very, very simple, cream sauce. It is not difficult at all. And I'm going to try to make a smaller amount than what I usually do. So, usually I use a half a stick of butter. This time I'm only going to use a quarter. We're just going to put that in this pan. And you want to make sure you cook that on medium. Because you don't want it to, um, you don't want it to burn. Medium to medium low. And we gotta cut open this Parmesan cheese. This is a big one. Any brand will do. But you, fresh cheese is better instead of using the pre-grated because there are some additives on there to keep it looking the way that it looks in your um, packaging. And it's just better if you use the fresh ingredients. You know what all's in there. No preservatives or any of that kind of stuff, right? Okay. All right. Guess what? Salmon is done. Beautiful. Do you see that? Beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and put lay those right in here with our zoodles. Keep our salmon warm, but I don't want it to continue to cook, cook, cook because I don't want it to be dry. So we're going to put that in our insulated bowl. And we'll turn off the grill. That part is done. All right, so we also are gonna use some cream cheese. The butter is melted. We're gonna put cream cheese, any brand will do. This one, I think it's the Aldi brand. It's the one that I usually get the best price on. Come on, cream cheese. Stuff is starting to brown. I should have opened up these packages before, but I was determined I was not going to let anything get in the way of me doing a live today because everything, sometimes things just seems like life just trying to get in the way. You have so many good intentions of things you want to do and then something will get in the way. And that kept happening to me. And today, this Monday, I said I was going live and guess what? We are live. Now, that is cooking a little bit faster than I want to. Let's see how this is going to go. Because I got now brown butter. Which brown butter is not awful. But 
in the Alfredo sauce. I do not think I want it to look that color. So I got to start over. Pampered, not perfect. Let me get something to um, get this out the way. And I'm going to have to start over. It's a real kitchen. Sometimes you make a mess. So <laughs> we're getting ready to start over. It's real easy to correct your mess. Let me show you how. Turn that off. Get that dish rag and rinse this thing out and start over. Just that easy. And we're starting over. Okay. All right. We want the quarter stick of butter and about two ounces of cream cheese. And we're going to melt those with some heavy whipping cream. And I got my Easy Read cups. The numbers are on the inside. So when you sit down, you can read the numbers without having to do all that bending down and contorting. So we're just going to do three quarter cups of cream. And if we need more, we can go back and put some more. Yeah, I think I want another, maybe about a quarter cup. So we do a whole cup of cream. And what this is doing is it is melting. The butter is melting. We're going to melt the cream cheese all together in the 60 pan. Before, I think we had a little bit too much heat. So we had to cut it back a little bit. Yeah. Because we didn't want it to brown or scorch or cook too fast. This is something that's a little bit more delicate. You got to take time with that part. Yep. Okay, let's get this out the way. We are back in business. Okay. Cut it back some more because it's starting to bubble. And I do not want it to scorch. So I cut it back down. We want to do this on a medium, medium low. You could cut up those pieces of cream cheese in there. So that helps them to kind of incorporate and melt a little bit faster. And I am going to use a whisk. Let me get a whisk out. Got my mini whisk out here, but I want my full size in. Woo! There we go. Turn it down a little bit more. If it looked like it's bubbling a little faster than you want it to, just cut it back. But we don't want lumps, so we're going to whisk it. As you can see, I put this right in my non-stick stainless because it can handle a little bit of metal. This is not going to ruin your pan. It's not going to scratch it up. It is just fine. All right. So now we're going to grate some Parmesan. And actually, this is a, <laughs> this is a piece that came from our new... Um, lemon zester but it grates cheese nicely that's what i have learned and it's got a nice large surface area so more than one purpose right love tools that i can use for more than one thing in the kitchen and it has um 
this is a big piece of Parmesan that I got from uh, Costco. So, yep. All right. So we put some in and we're gonna stir it, whisk it, to make sure it gets incorporated. We need some other flavors in here. Let's go with some garlic. We're gonna use our garlic press. And this is the best garlic press in the business. You can put that garlic in with the skin and everything and push it right through. Okay, and we got fresh garlic in there and we didn't have to spend so much time trying to peel it. I'm also gonna put just a little bit of garlic powder, just a little sprinkle, okay? You don't have to measure, measure, because we're doing just a small amount of sauce this morning. What is that now? Oh, that smells so good. I love garlic in my Alfredo. We're also gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper. And here's the salt and the pepper in the grinder together. Put a little salt and pepper in there. It's getting a little bit thicker than I would like it, so I wanna put a little bit more of the heavy cream in there. So anything, the ingredients are so simple, you just adjust whatever you need. I'm gonna put some more Parmesan cheese. That's the key ingredient for the Alfredo sauce, the Parmesan. And we will sprinkle a little bit of, of the Italian. And I think it's time for a little quality check. Good. I want a little bit more cheese, but we are there. All right, another reason why you don't want to use the pre shredded cheese is that a lot of times that pre shredded cheese will turn kind of grainy on you and you don't want that you want to have a nice smooth sauce and you don't want it to start breaking down and get grainy but some of those additives cause that because they're put in there to make the cheese stay stay separate instead of you know melting and clumping together in the store all right so our alfredo sauce is done now what we're going to do is we're going to return the zoodles and toss them into the sauce. Yes. So we got our Alfredo zoodles. I'm trying to get all the zoodles out of here. The fish is in the way. All right. Yum. Can y'all see that? Just turn them, put them right back in there. So just like spaghetti, but you got zucchini, so it's a low carb version. We're gonna turn off all the heat. Let's get a plate. We're gonna dish it up. You could put spinach in here. You could add some diced tomatoes on top. You could put mushrooms, anything you like. So here is our zoodle. And we're gonna top it. With some salmon. Yay! 
So that's for lunch today. This is again my birthday month, so I'm gonna be doing stuff all month. I am getting ready to start a party. Yes, if you want to bless me for my birthday, I won't be sending you a cash app. I want you to have something really nice for your kitchen for my birthday, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna start a party. It's gonna go for eight days. We're gonna party for eight days right on through my birthday until the end of this month. And please join the party, make a purchase with me. Uh, consider joining my team. This is fun. I have had an amazing time in the past year and a half with Pamper Chef. I have met some great people. It's so easy because I'm right here in my own kitchen. I haven't even left home yet and I'm able to work a part-time job. So, I mean, how flexible is that? Oh, let me taste this, because it's sitting here, you know. Oh, no, I want to take a picture. Let me take a picture. But um, I will be inviting you to the party. I'm also doing some giveaways. I'll go back and make sure I look at the comments. Let's see what we got up here. Oh, <laughs> Melissa said she needs some lunch, too. Come on. Come on, Joanne. You know I got plenty of lunch over here. You always share with me because my, my sister will call me and say, come on, you want to drop some fish and we'll go over there and cook. Actually, Joanne is going to help me to celebrate my birthday and she is going to host a party as well. So we're going to be partying all day. It's going to be like a mega party, okay? And so look for the invite to the mega party. And it could be any host that invites you to the mega party. I want y'all to come on and get on in here. And... um. We're going to make some gumbo, and I got the ingredients. We're going to make some gumbo before this week is out with Joanne. Let's see. Yes, quick and easy dinner. That grill and griddle is the best. Y'all, I put a whole pound and a half of shrimp on here and cooked it in two minutes for an Alfredo for another uh, host the other night. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. So, have a wonderful day. I'm going to take a picture of the lunch. Be looking for your invite to this awesome mega party to help me celebrate my 46th birthday. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And join my VIP group.